man, this experience was so great. The journey was so great. So many years just in the UFC. And for sure, I will remember with a lot of kindness about all these moments. But Damian Maia is getting close to choking him with one hand, especially if he can get that second hook in. Ryan's doing a good job of holding that off. But when he did that, it, it's all over. It is all over. Damian Maia wins by rear naked choke. It was a great moment for me because it was my UFC debut and so, you know everything was was perfect. That was in, in Ohio. And actually you know the first fight before the UFC that I did was in Ohio also. Uh, my first MMA fight in the United States and then after that fight I, I got the contract uh, with the UFC a few couple months after my my debut in, in US and and as a coincidence you know the fight was in Ohio the same place that I did my debut and uh, was was very cool I remember after the fighting going out of the stadium the the venue and and looking outside and you know start to think back all my life since i started to train when i was a kid and and watching the first ufc and dreaming to to be there and then you know finally the dream the, the dream come true and i remember like i said outside the venue by myself looking and and you know thinking all and all these things going through my mind i'm sure chael sonnen is absolutely thrilled to be returning to the UFC. I remember in that fight, you know, I was 10 and 0 in my MMA career. And they put Cheo as a test because he was pretty big uh, compared to my size. And then in this fight, I remember in the press conference with him before the fight, I said, man, this guy is huge and he's a great wrestler. How are we going to take him down? And so the fight starts, we exchange some punches. And then I, I think I pull guard in a, in a moment. I try to shoot. I, I, I realize he was pretty tough to take down. I pull guard. It's, it's gonna be very, it pulls guard. Now this is what Damian Maya likes. I, I, I knee him and I was able to do a sacrifice takedown like we call in, in Jiu Jitsu. Oh, beautiful takedown. And I got in the triangle. I realized the triangle was deep and he, he, he tapped. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, in that fight. So the fight with Rick story is, is very interesting because when I start fighting the UFC, nobody even think UFC would come to Brazil. That's one of the first events in Brazil. Uh, it's not the first one, but one of the first. And when they invited me to fight the, there, you know, I was pretty, pretty excited and very happy. And I remember getting there and, and then it was something totally different because, you know, I was always fighting outside of Brazil. And then you finally fight in Brazil. There is some, some things that you, you can get tricked, you know, a lot of friends around and, and you need really to take care of that. Everything went right. And, and the good thing is I, I, I didn't get a submission for many years because I was a lot of, you know, fights more boxing and this kind of things and in this fight i was able to to get a, a my team and now we come back to do more jiu-jitsu and in this fight i was able to submit my opponent after many years without getting the submission and a uh, funny thing is that everybody says that's a neck crank but actually you know it was a choke of course i i twist a little bit his neck but he didn't tap for the the crank it was not the crank the, the the what made him tap was the choke i remember when i beat gunnar people were saying okay now we're gonna get the title fight and then i you know the urc plans change then i go one more fight with matt brown I beat him in Brazil, 45,000 people, it was crazy. I said, okay, now I'm gonna get the title fight. It's five in a row. No, and then I, I beat Carlos Conde, the former champion uh, in Canada, uh, with a quick submission in the first round. I said, man, then no way, now I'm gonna get the, it was perfect, you know? And then I didn't, and then finally UFC, and then uh, they talked to Eduardo that, you know, they want me to fight to Jorge Masvidal, and we said, okay, let's go, and we go, we, we, we go to, uh, we come up to Dallas. There was a lot of pressure, of course, but I've been in this situation 
I was in this situation in the last three fights. Like, if you win that, you're gonna get the title shot. If you win that, so I think that helps. That helped uh, to don't get over excited and to keep my focus on that fight. And because Jorge is a pretty, pretty tough fight. And during that fight, I remember he was good in takedown defense, but I was able to get his back, jump, close the triangle, and be attacking, attacking, attacking. It was a tough fight. He's a great opponent, but I, I was able to impose my game. Ben Askren's fight was so important for me because, you know, Ben is, was probably the last guy who really represents a style. You know, he was a, a wrestler. He pretty much, everybody knows when he gets to fight, he, he's gonna use his wrestling. He goes there, you know, and, and I'm the guy who does the same with Jiu-Jitsu. I, I represent Jiu-Jitsu. Everybody knows what I'm gonna do when I get inside the, the octagon. So everybody was talking about the, the, the best grappling in the game challenge. And that's, of course, add some pressure because I wanna prove that I was, you know, the best grappler. It was not an easy fight, it was a tough fight, but I was able to get where I, you know, love the most, which is a submission in the third round. Yeah, oh, there's the tie Oh! That is the boy with the win, I can Was a great crowd in Singapore, was, you know, pretty full. So I think that night everything was perfect, everything was, was great. And this experience was so great, the journey was so great, so many years. Just in the UFC, it's basically 14 years. To fight in this competitive level, so high competitive level, makes you grow so much, not just physically, but most mentally, the, when you need to overcome so big challenge that, you know, I didn't regret anything, and I'm very happy that everything I did and everything I, I, I went through, and for sure, I will remember with a lot of kindness about all these moments.